Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are creating a beautiful animated KPI visual using SVG code in Power BI. In this visual, you'll see how to create a black metric card displaying a text like year on year growth percentage or gross margin or profit margin and then overlaying a glowing or pulsing circle displaying the actual KPI value. This visual looks very premium and modern, but also it helps the user to understand the most important number on the visual very quickly. We are doing this video in two sections. One, creating a simple visual and how to create it and how to write the code. And then we combine this code with a UDF so that you can use that particular UDF with other KPI metrics as well very easily. My request is to watch this video till the end and uh, if you have any comments or you have any feedback, mention them in the comment section. If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe and uh, please do like and share with others. Your share, your like and your subscription helps a lot this channel. Thank you very much for visiting the channel and I expect you to watch this video completely. Thank you very much. This is the visual we are going to create. It has three layers. One is the white background. Then we have a black metric card which is showing label. The glowing and pulsing circle with a value. And if you look at the pulse is bit faster in case of red color. And in case of green color, it is bit slow. So relax. That means green is good. Obviously red is to be noticed and understood because it is not going to be a good one. So how to create these three different layers and how to adjust the animation based on the value. So first let us create very native SVG visual without having any measure values and then we'll introduce the measure values. We'll bring that into UDF. Our starting point will be creating a new measure. So let me start with new measure. Measure name new KPI SVG within double quotes within SVG tags inside the first SVG tag. I need to mention XML namespace equal width. Let it be 140 points height will be 140. Here I require one view box equal X zero y0 height 140 and width 140 so with that namespace and view box is ready now we need to create the black rectangle rect x will be 5 y will be again 5 width let me have 90 points height also 90 points since it is a square and then rounded corners 18 so with that the rectangle is going to be ready but i need to have the fill fill will be black inside the rectangle we require a text which is going to be the text label indicating what exactly that kpi is meant for i'm using one text the text will have x 55 y will be 35 text anchor middle then i want uh, to give a font so very basic font i'm giving currently that is i think that is a name font size will be 12 font color will be white that gives us the text one main component i forgot to add here that is after the fill inside both the tags right side and left side tags i need to mention what exactly the value should be this is going to be a static value as of now but later this we will make as a dynamic value the next layer will be circle rather we will have two circles one circle is the normal circle second one is creating that glowing and pulsing effect first circle inside that i need to give the cx that is x position 85 and y position 85 radius 35 fill tomato that will be my first circle. the second circle also will have the same property so let me copy this paste it but later we'll have dynamic value this circle will have a property called opacity the transparency opacity is 0.4 point that means little transparent more than 50 percent transparent now i need to add animation one animation for giving the glowing effect another is for pulse effect animate animation attribute is r the radius to be animated from 35 
its basic size 248 it is growing while it is growing how fast it has to grow so that is duration let me say 1.4 seconds currently we can make it dynamic then how many times it has to repeat repeat count is indefinite that means continuously it has to be animated so that is the size now i'm giving pulse effect first one will give you the glow effect so animate attribute name is opacity the transparency growing and slowly it is getting more thinner that is from 0.6 to completely disappearing again 1.4 seconds repeat count is indefinite and that is giving me the circle effect now let me check whether it is exactly coming the way i want i've already started testing it so you can see now once my measure is ready this is what i want the effect basic circle is inside and other circle is slowly growing glowing and becoming thinner now i need a text inside text need to be within the circle for that i need to add a text tag x position will be 85 i need to match with the circle and y position is 90 text anchor is middle should be in the middle font family is again i'm using the same font what i have used for the black rectangle and then font size is 15 then font weight that is the boldness 600 then fill will be currently white this has to be closed here because these are the properties of the text and inside that i want to add a text that is 100 as of now i'm just adding a number 100 now that is how the text will be closed now let us test it now you can see exactly the number is coming in the middle This is very basic SVG. We need to integrate this with our data. For example, I have a chart, which is a table. I have a profit margin and I need to implement this visual based on the profit margin. And for example, if I hover the mouse, it is red. When I hover the mouse, it is green, otherwise amber. So I need to implement these colors and accordingly it should be dynamic. For that, let me jump into the visual. So there I need to start creating my measures. So here I need to add some variables. So first the circle color, so variable circle color equal switch true. Profit margin is less than 0 0.05. That means 5%. Then it has to be tomato. Profit margin less than 0 0.1. That means 10% then it is gold otherwise it is teal the green color and then use return so that i can use these value values inside my visual so i need to change the circle color so currently you can see the circle current we have taken the tomato so this tomato will be circle color tomato color and i need to add the double quotes and then ambient i'm concatenating the values inside i will be adding circle color same way here as well i'll be adding instead of tomato circle color not only the circle color but also I I want to make the text color dynamic and as well the speed of the pulse the duration also dynamic for that i need to create one more variable text color equal if profit margin less than 10 percent then black otherwise white because in case of gold i don't want that color to be white it has to be black and in case of a tomato color also i want it to be black in case of only teal color color should be white just adding some logic here you can add more logic if you want and also variable speed the duration of the pulse i'll just add switch true profit margin less than 0 0.05 then it should be much faster i'll say 0 0.6 the duration is less it'll happen faster then profit margin is greater than 0 0.05 rather greater than equal 0 0.05 and profit margin less than 0 0.1 that is part of 10 percent let it be one bit slower otherwise further 1.4 basically it is seconds so first circle color is based on the values and then text color based on the values speed also based on the values now i need to implement this text color and the speed so text color so where exactly i need to do here the text fill is white in case of text color this will be text color and here currently i have selected 1.4 seconds this will be speed even this also speed now let us see our final visual by default it is showing a number we need to add the number as well our visual is showing a static value 100 that is this so this has to be format profit margin and it has to be in the percentage format why i need to add that otherwise this value will show with indefinite decimals so to avoid that i am formatting it and i'm making sure that it is converted into a string value so now this will give us a proper value inside now let us test it i'm using this particular placeholder like a custom tooltip first let me change the properties of the page go to properties and go to canvas 
settings and change it to tooltip and let it be let this visual be like somewhere like this and then accordingly change the size of the page custom maybe that is good and let me add another a proper page and there i'm adding a table let me add application now i need to add the total revenue and based on the revenue i want to show the tooltip what is the percentage of margin properties general tooltips and my tooltip page is page 5 and when i hover the mouse i can see this is coming up in case of outlook the profit margin is very bad and the pulse rate is very high in case of power apps the profit margin is very good and you can see the pulse rate is low As of now, this visual only can showcase or display profit margin related KPI. But if I want to use this for any other KPI, for example, I want to showcase year on year growth percentage, then how to use the same SVG code without doing much. For that, I need to create a UDF. Let me first copy this entire format. Let me jump into DAX query view. There, let me paste it. And then I'm starting with define function. So card SVG, any name randomly, I'm giving some name. And then I need to write few parameters. Key value, which will be decimal. Then text value, which will be string. Then low, which will be again decimal. And then high, this is again decimal. Also, I need medium in between. So three values I'm giving. and close the bracket now I'm using these variables let me remove this name of the measure because it is going to be UDF now and same values will follow so only thing wherever the profit margin will be there will be the key value so I'll just remove this profit margin wherever it is key value key value and again I need to make sure this also should be key value so when the user is uh, supplying the information that information will be considered here and then inside the visual I have created profit margin here but this is not going to be profit margin anymore. If it is whatever text value he is providing, that value it should be. So let me remove this. And within double quotes, within ambassades, I say text value. So that will be the value. So whatever it is, whether it's profit margin or year on year growth, he has to supply. Then this these values, this is the low value. This is the medium value. So let me remove this. It can be any value. So I say low, this is medium. And again, this is medium. This is medium, oh, sorry, I think that is low. And then medium, that's it. And now I can start working on the new visual. Before consuming this UDF, let me explain first. So I need to define a function and I need to give a name to the function. So when I'm going to use a measure, I need to write this DAX card SVG. There I'm supplying four variables like key value, which will be like a decimal. He has to give a decimal value, text value like a string, then low, medium and high, all these values. Since I'm talking about only margins or growth percentages, always everything should be decimals. Then this is the indicator to define that function, how it has to be constructed. So there I'm using the same measure, whatever I created. Only thing when I'm using those functions, the real values, absolute values, to be replaced with the attributes or arguments provided within the function definition. So key value less than low because that should be the low value and key value less than medium and so on. And then accordingly the values will be submitted. Then this measure can be used in a new visual. So this time I wanted to showcase this in year on year growth percentage. So let me add a new table. Let me add a slicer. So in this slicer, I'm adding year and then month. Let me sign it myself January of 2018. Now I'm adding total revenue and last year revenue. I wanted to showcase this by application, then year on year growth percentage, and I need to create a new mesh. So Y O Y growth. So that will be card SVG. Now look at this, these values. I think I have some values are say eight, so less than 10%. So I can say this card SVG is asking what is the key value Y O Y growth percentage. And then it is asking the low value that is 0 0.1 medium value maybe I'll say 0 0.15 and then high value is you can say 1.5 also I need to supply one text value I'll say y o y growth let me close bracket add a new I'll use this page 6 itself or page 5 itself I'll just change this value this measure to y o y growth through svg now you can see the value is coming select this it is year on year growth now let me go to the properties go to general then tool tips on then page will be page 5 and if I hover the mouse you'll see now it is coming year on year growth and showcasing the percentage we have created one measure converted into UDF now we can use that on any KPI and we can create a custom tooltip and visualize the data